What is this uh, this season been like for you, and how do you just come back next year and go to training camp and move forward? That well, was a disappointing season. Obviously, uh, you know, had a lot of expectations and everything. Everything was a mess with the, the lockout and. Uh, yeah, it was just a different year, and, and obviously when you're out now, it's, uh, it's all that really matters is not playing, so it was tough. Brad, how difficult was it to, to handle what went on here in the last series for you? Yeah, it was not, not a fun time. You know, I, there's no other really way to put it. It was, um, it was tough, but, uh, you know, life goes on, and I, I've got to regroup and figure th some things out and uh, start over. Callahan was saying you're a professional a training camp will obviously uh, mean a lot for a lot of the guys. What do you think it'll mean for you? Well, I mean training camp. I mean training camp. Every 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 team missed training camp. And, um, I think for my situation, it probably starts a lot earlier than that. So, what do you think was the biggest difference between your season this year and last year? I, I, it just wasn't wasn't a good season for me. Brad, you, you said for your situation it starts earlier than that. Does that go back to off season training? <coughs> yeah, I think uh, I've got a having a season. Yeah, I mean I gotta I gotta start over. So, you know, that's uh it starts probably in about a week or two and you know, I can control that. That's one thing I can control all summer is how I prepare and uh you know if I do all that then you know I'll be confident and Brad. And happy how I'm, I'm going to enter the season. One you go into the summer. You talk about control. There's a lot of stuff you can't control. Going, I mean, mentally, how do you how do you approach that? I mean, do you just mentally. Well, I mean, you know, a lot's been written about whether oh, you're yeah. going to be back or not. Or oh yeah, that's been written since probably a week into the season. So I mean, I, that's that's the business side of it. I'm playing hockey next year, no matter what. So I'm just talking about myself uh, getting back. So. Do you expect to be back? expect to be back here? I mean, I signed for longer than a year and a half, so, you know, but I do understand everything that's going on, so. Do you when still feel like you have a lot to contribute? Yes. When you look back at the off season and the, the extended off season, do you look back with regret that you might not have done enough? I mean, how do you approach, how do you look back? Yeah, I mean, right now it's, I, mean, I didn't play the last two games of the season in the playoffs, so obviously uh, I've got to do something to get back. Not to, there's no way there's no regret or no uh, disappointment. So, um, like I said, uh, there's a lot of other things that can and might or won't. I don't know, but you know, I signed here to be to be a Ranger a lot longer than a year and a half, and I, I still hope to do that. Um, but I got to take care of uh, how I how I can play, and that's all on me. Are there relationships that need repairing after the way these these last few days went? No, I mean, I'd, obviously, there's it's a it's another thing in in the, in the relationship that will never change now. But um, I I, I, I want to play hockey. That's all I'm really worried about. Relationships here, they'll come and go. Did you understand why? I mean, did, did you were you surprised that the decision was made to scratch you for game four and game five, or did you have an understanding of why it was done? I mean, when it happens, you're never really understanding. Um, I think the game before, I played probably 40 seconds in the third period. So I mean, I, I don't you know. It's not like uh, it's not like you're going from 20 minutes to nothing. So um, it was it was a tough time. It was frustrating. I wanted to be out there and trying to help, but those are not my decisions. Were, were you there confident times during the season where where you felt like you were playing at the level you wanted to again and you just can sustain it or you never got to where you thought I, you could be I'll be honest I didn't have I didn't feel normal all season so that's and that's you know I, there's a thousand things I could blame and ex put excuses on and I'm not going to do that that's uh, like I said that's something I can start in my control in the next couple of weeks and and uh you know, do everything I can off the ice and, and training and skating and uh, to get back because uh, obviously there's there was something missing. Are you confident that you can get back to that level? Are you confident? Yeah. You yep. Being on physical conditioning, was there an injury or something? Were no. no. Brad, when you say start over, start from scratch, what what's your off season going to be like? And, and what was it your legs you felt? Or what is it that you're starting over? Yeah, I mean, there's 
it's a lot of things. Yeah. Just you know, just the, the whole. You know, I think I was I was in good shape to start the season in September, but everything was uh, was different after that, and uh, you know, I just gotta. Yeah, it, it's a full full evaluation of how you're preparing. Mm-hmm. I'll try to do a lot more. Sorry, is one of the emotions right now anger to show that you can still play at that level? Yeah, I I want to start tomorrow. To be honest with you. So, um, what are your expectations for next season for yourself? Well, like I said, I I'll get through the summer first and uh, what I'm doing there. But uh, obviously, I got a got a lot to to prove and get back to. As the lockout dragged on, did you expect there to be a season? I mean, I, it's it's a roller coaster. You kind of wake up one day, and uh, I was in there for a lot of them. And some days you you really you're so frustrated you thought that you're never going to play again. So um, you could feel it coming on the last week. You could feel that there's probably going to be a season. Um, but you know, it, it's it's frustrating because you it's like a one day yeah we're playing next day it's it's shut off and it's tough mentally you don't have to worry about that how much is that going to be easy for you to prepare for next year knowing that you yeah, don't have to deal with that anymore you never really have to deal with that 